Las Alerces National Park Spanish, Parque Nacional Las Alerces is located in the Andes in Chubut Province in the Patagonian region of Argentina. Its western boundary coincides with the Chilean border. Successive glaciations have molded the landscape in the region creating spectacular features such as moraines, glacial cirques and clear water lakes. The vegetation is dominated by dense temperate forests, which give way to alpine meadows higher up under the rocky Andean peaks. A highly distinctive and emblematic feature is its Alirs forest. The globally threatened Alirs tree is the second longest living tree species in the world, greater than 3600 years. The Alirs forests in the park are in an excellent state of conservation. The property is vital for the protection of some of the last portions of continuous Patagonian forest in an almost pristine state and is the habitat for a number of endemic and threatened species of flora and fauna. Alirs trees Designated a World Heritage Site in 2017, the park was created in 1937 to protect forests of Alirs trees, called Lawan by the Mapuche people, and other examples of the flora of the Patagonian Andes. The national park has the largest Alirs forest in Argentina. Alirs is often compared in appearance to the sequoia trees of the United States, reaching a very large size. It is one of the longest living trees in the world, some in Chile are 3,600 years old. The Alirs grows very slowly and belongs to the family Cupressaceae cypresses. The Alirs is restricted to a small range in Chile and Argentina and the species is endangered due to exploitation of the tree for lumber. The best known Alirs forest in the park, reachable by boat and often visited by tourists, is at a boat dock called Puerto Sagrario at the northern end of Lake Menendez. The largest known Alirs tree in Argentina is located there. It is 57 meters 187 feet tall, 2.2 meters 7.2 feet in diameter, and 2,600 years old. Regular tours visit the forest. Taller and larger Alirs trees are believed to exist on the southwestern arm of Lake Menendez, but access to that area is restricted. The virgin Alirs forests in the park cover an area of 7,407 hectares 18, acres on the two arms of Lake Menendez and the upper part of Amuchui Quimi Reservoir, and along the streams feeding into those lakes. Description Los Alerces National Park consists of two parts, the formally declared National Park of 187,379 hectares 723.47 square miles and the adjoining Los Alerces National Reserve of 71,443 hectares 275.84 square miles. Almost all the development in the park is in the National Reserve. A buffer area 10 kilometers 6.2 miles wide surrounds the three sides of the park which do not border on Chile. Los Alerces National Park is shaped like a rough rectangle, extending approximately 65 kilometers 40 miles north to south along the border with Chile and 45 kilometers 28 miles east to west. All of Los Alerces National Park is in the drainage basin of the Futalufu River, although the river is called by several different names during its course in Argentina. A chain of lakes separated by short courses of turbulent river characterize the park. Lake Rivadavia is the beginning of the chain. The outflow from Lake Rivadavia is called the Rivadavia River which flows into the much smaller Green Lake. The outlet from Green Lake is called the Arrayanes River, which after receiving the outflow from Lake Menendez continues on to Futalaufkan Lake. Below Futalaufkan Lake is Kruger Lake and the Frey River which flows into Amuchui Quimi Reservoir, an artificial lake. The river known as the Futalufu emerges below Amuchui Quimi Reservoir and becomes the southern boundary of the national park. Scattered around the mountains and valleys of the park are a number of smaller lakes and streams. The highest point in the Los Alerces National Park is Cordon de los Pyramides, 2,440 meters (8,010 feet) in elevation. The lowest point in the park is about 330 meters (1,080 feet), where the Futalufu River crosses into Chile. Climate Most of the lower elevations in Los Alerces National Park are classified as oceanic climates, denominated CFB in the Köppen climate classification system. 
Moisture-laden clouds from the Pacific Ocean strike the Andes on the Chilean-Argentine border and produce up to 3,000 mm of precipitation annually, mostly in the form of rain at lower elevations and snow at higher elevations. Eastward from the crest of the Andes, in a rain shadow, precipitation decreases rapidly, falling to about 800 mm at the eastern edge of the park. Temperatures in the park range from cold to moderate. Freezes can occur in any month of the year. The warmest month is January with average daily temperature of 24 degrees Celsius 75 degrees Fahrenheit high and 8 degrees Celsius 46 degrees Fahrenheit low at lower elevations of the park. The average temperatures in July, the coldest month, are 7 degrees 45 degrees Fahrenheit high and minus 1 degree 30 degrees Fahrenheit low. Average temperatures decline with altitude. Timberline is about 1,400 meters 4, feet above which is bare rock, permanent or semi-permanent snowfields, and Torresilla's glacier between the two arms of Lake Menenendez. In the west of the park, there is high rainfall and Valdivian temperate rain forests below the higher elevations of the Andes. Much of the rest of the park is Patagonian forest similar to the Lannan and Nahuel Huapi National Parks, with Coihues and Langa. Arayan Luma trees can be seen along the Arayanes River. Although there is no true dry season, precipitation is heaviest in the southern hemisphere winter months of July through August. <laughs> <laughs> development and tourism A hydroelectric dam, providing energy to industry in Puerto Madryn, has created the large Amuchawi Quimi Reservoir, which empties into the Futalufu River which flows onto Chile. There is good walking and fishing in the park, and boat trips on the lakes. The Torresillas Glacier can be seen from tour boats on Lake Menendez. See also Lake Menendez Lake Rivadavia Footnotes <inaudible> <inaudible>